to Sweets, Treats, and Eats, the Mini Clinic. I'm Howie Morgison. On this mini clinic, we're continuing our journey down quick breads. So far, we have done a banana bread and we have done an apple bread. And on this episode, we're going to do a pumpkin bread. And so quick breads, by definition, are breads that have no yeast in it. So you get a, real, a, a quick rise and it takes a short amount of time to get the bread on the table. Uh, but you get leavening from other things uh, like eggs and baking powder and baking soda. So why don't we get started? So we're gonna start out with the wet ingredients. So we have here some pumpkin puree, and this is one of the few things where you're better off with the can of the pumpkin puree versus making it yourself. You could make it if you want to, uh, but it's a long process. So why if you don't have to? And it's very consistent when you get it in the can. We have the eggs that we'll put in, and we're gonna put in some water, and we're gonna put in some vegetable oil. So there's no butter in this one, it's only oil. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix it together and we'll continue mixing it till it's well combined. And then we're gonna move on to the dry ingredients. All right, so we mixed our wet ingredients up and now let's get to the dry ingredients. So we have some flour and we have some sugar and we have some baking powder and we have some baking soda and we have some salt and we have some cinnamon and we have some nutmeg and we have some clove. All right, so we're gonna mix all that together. Make sure it's all combined well. And that looks pretty good. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the wet ingredients, which we worked on before, and then I'm going to put the dry ingredients in, like that. And then I'm going to mix until it's well combined, but you don't want to over mix it. All right, so I'll mix this up, and when we come back, we will get this into pans and into the oven. Okay, so we have our batter and it's all mixed up and ready to go. So you can see I have mini loaf pans, which uh, is a great thing to use to make these quick breads for a couple of reasons. One, uh, you can give them out to family and friends uh, and you don't have to make up big loaves to do that. The other thing is, that if you have, like in my family, where you have nut allergies, that uh, this is really good with nuts in it. So what I'm going to do is the first one I'm going to make with no nuts in it, and then I'm going to make nuts into the remaining batter, and then make the rest of the loaves with nuts in it. So if you have allergies, this is the perfect way to sort of account for that. So I had my mini loaf pans. I sprayed them uh, with uh, cooking spray, and I put parchment paper in it. Uh, and that makes it really easy for them to lift out when they're ready. So what I'm gonna do is I have my big spoon here and I'm gonna grab you know, some of the batter and I'm gonna put it in. Okay, and maybe just a drop more. Okay, so that'll be the first one. And then I'm gonna put that one to the side and then I have my nuts over here. And what I'll do is, let's get rid of one of these spoons to sort of get it out of the way. Okay, I'll put that here. And then I have the nuts. And then I'm gonna mix the nuts in. Okay, I have a few more here. Make sure we get them all in. Okay, and now they're all mixed in. And then I'll take my next loaf pan. And I will take some more of the batter, put that in, more. So I'm gonna to continue to fill the loaf pans and then we're gonna pop them into a 350 degree oven and uh, we'll come back and show you what they look like. So stay with us. Okay, so we uh, pulled them out so we can take a look and check to see if they're ready. I have a toothpick here. So I'm gonna stick it in one and pull it out. It looks pretty clean, maybe a couple of minutes. 
So I'm gonna put them in for probably another three or four minutes. Then I'm gonna pull them out and let them cool. And then we're gonna try them. Okay, now what we've all been waiting for. So you saw we tested it in the oven. It wasn't ready. So we put it back for another 10 minutes, tested it again, took it out. So when you take it out in the loaf pans, you let it sit in the loaf pan for about 15 minutes. Then you lift it out of the loaf pan using the, the paper that we put in, parchment paper. And then you put it on a cooling rack, just the breads themselves, and you let it cool for another 10 minutes, and then you're ready to go. So we made two varieties of the uh, pumpkin bread. We made this one over here, which has no nuts in it. And we have this one over here, which is the one that has the walnuts in it. So uh, let's give it a try. So I'm gonna try the walnut one, break off a piece here. And that is very good. Now we made the ones without the nuts for Nick. So Nick, here's your piece. Try it, let me know what you think. What do you think? Nick says yes, he likes it too. So try this quick bread. And uh, we're going to do some additional quick breads because this is a quick thing that you can put together and have on the table in about an hour. So thanks for joining us on this episode. Uh, if you want to check us out on social media, it's at Sweets Treats ETV. Make sure you check us out. And I'll see you on the next Sweets, Treats, and Eats. See you then. Bye-bye.